Tyrell Natalie, the judge that per Constable Mike signed the warrant in court order of my unlawful eviction. Now, the constables, they are supposed to be like the marshals. They're under the feds. Constable Mike, paperwork in hand, he was supposed to give me, never gave me anything or even let me get my wallet, left me out like an animal and kept reaching for his gun, telling the people on the phone I was hostile because I was asking to get my documents and wallet, protect and serve my ass. I affirm all is truth and facts unless Mike rebuts, but I still affirm he is crooked. I can't stand a liar and a coward because this man never came to my house and served me. What he did was he put a piece of tape and he put a letter on my door that is not serving me that is not a lawful eviction he is supposed to hand the paperwork to me in hand and I was home when he dropped it off Thursday which was the 23rd so y'all know I've been up since I am now officially homeless without any resources because these people illegally evicted me but this is to the judge so i've seen who the judge is so i went ahead and i am sending this off to the judge this is just an email of what occurred so i'm going down there like i said today this is the judge. I'm going down there today so I can go ahead and put that motion in, which, you know, I'm sending her a copy of the motion, but I have to, like, go to the library or something so I could print it out because they weren't trying to, you know, help me out. And luckily, you know, I have and post the stuff that I have. Because like I said, that Mike, I've never seen that man. He's never knocked on my door and handed me any documents. So they falsify documents. Not only that, he's lying under oath. And so I want all of their oath so we can go ahead and take the next step, which you guys know I'm doing. have to deal with federal court and shit. But I'm showing my proof that they violate my cease and desist, y'all. So that's what I've been up doing, but... I filled out the documents, the tenant motion. I'm going to turn that in in the fee waiver today. Here is my default letter that I'm going to send off. I got to, you know, I got to call the police to see if they'll let me in. I got to go back down to the courts and see well, who do I contact to let me back in so I can see what information with documents that you guys stole. Because most of it's on my phone anyways, you know, um, but at the end of the day, yeah, I need to get some type of funds because I'm going to overnight the default. So that's going to give invitation homes and I'm sending it to the CEO, Dallas Tanner, Tanner Dallas. I'm going to go ahead and send him, you know, the default that's going to give them 72 hours to respond. Then I can go ahead and put the case in the district federal court since they want to play hardball and serve me illegally and knowing that there is a cease and desist so they say fuck the cease and desist so let's just put you in default and you can say fuck the cease and desist and the subpoena do some tech them to bring in evidence and deprivation of my rights you can say fuck that to the federal court system because at this point if they don't help me i know it's really corrupt out here and then i'm just gonna have to reach out to some more people and see what's going on but yeah i'm just living my best little homeless life i'm not about to give up because these people know they violate it really bad and they got to pay for what they did. Right now, I am. I'm in the hood. Don't know where the fuck I'm at. Slept in the car. My kids didn't want to go with them people, which they would have went and got groomed and all that good shit just on a blessing. But my babies prefer to be with me. And so they're with me, you know. And that's just what it is right now, you guys. But I'm still in fucking good spirits. So it's all to the good. So I go, hope you guys have a blessed day. And I'm going to keep you guys posted, okay? Bye. I am giving, oh, I got to fix her name, Terrell Natalie, the benefit of the doubt. That she signed off on any documentation because she was not aware of the violation of my rights, nor that Constable Mike failure to properly serve me documents which let 
to my eviction meant to put lead also more damages either these people do not follow protocol or they are intentionally breaking law correct the clerk didn't even know or wanted to help me get their oath of office she acted rude and pissed off i even knew about their oath of office i just look this way law is not a hobby but my life what i live and breathe every day to free my people as a whole i don't see color religion just struggle and vision for all to make better decisions i'm universal love in a world that keeps hurting me I walk and will keep my faith. It's not easy, but I cry. I cried, get the pain out, take responsibility for my actions and heal. So I will get everything I deserve and some. I pray all do so. Watch what you do and who you hurt. Be kind to those in need because no one is exempt. We are only in vessels. So yeah, you guys, that's what's going on with me right now. I just got to get to court. My friend, I'm just trying to get some stuff situated so I can go to the courts and file these documents and send everything off. But I've been up early. But the courts where I'm at is 55 minutes away with me walking because I can't catch no bus, can't take no Lyft, no Uber, because I don't have my credit cards to set up you know my uber or lyft because i have been taking that because i typically would be in my audi drop top but you know that's just the past so yeah that's where i'm at just get these documents filed and see what i can do so i hope everybody has a wonderful day but i'm out you guys bye <laughs>